Right, well, hello people, how are we all doing? So, uh, oh, it's probably, what, 50 hours since the Rustle rotation? Good enough. So, we're here to discuss the current situation, the current progress of the most recent skins that are put into the Rustle rotation. This week, of course, being Charitable Rust. We have four Charitable Rust skins that aren't marketable and aren't tradable, so we don't really need to discuss them that much. But we do need to discuss the eight skins that are marketable and tradable. So... Let's talk about their progress. How likely are they going to be a nice positive investment? And, you know, are they potentially going to go in the uh, green or are they going to go in the red? So, let's start off with the Blackout MP5. And a lot of people have been quite impressed with the cutout part on the aim sight. So, basically, uh, we didn't fully realise that, um, well, when we, when we first saw it last week... The, it, it, it has a cut up portion. We focus so much on the stock and whatnot that um, we <laughs> uh, we focus the uh, all the cut out stock, but we never really notice that the you have the nice extra space in the uh, aim sight. Now a lot of people have put quite a lot of focus on that, but to be honest, uh, from what we discussed in the Saturday Skin Showcase, uh, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. If it does for you, by all means, buy it, use it, enjoy it love it <laughs> do what you can but i don't think the blackout mp5 is the best thing to invest into in terms of it's an mp5 how very unfortunate uh mp5 is as mr micro would have said out of the meta um it's just not as good in comparison to the uh, quite a lot of other weapons a lot of people do prefer to use many other weapons for example the thompson that's probably the best comparison. And clearly the skins show it. With lower gun demand equals lower demand to use the skins, which of course leads to lower skin prices. But this is a blackout skin. And blackout collection skins tend to rise up eventually and become a very nice positive. So what am I going to sit here and say? Well, one of the best examples would be the blackout SAR. This suffered. This went down to less than 30% of its value, its, its rustle value. Um, a good few weeks ago when the times were really bad this was down pretty bad but now that skin prices are starting to improve as we get closer towards december time this is getting closer and closer to its rustle price and it's going up in price but this i probably would expect the same routine because at the very least you're going to probably end up using mp5 at some point and well if you're going to use one, you might as well have at least one decent skin to use with it. And I think the Blackout MP5 is going to be the choice pick for that. It's got a nice helpful aim sight. Looks very cool. Got this cutout stock. Stands out very nicely in comparison to many other skins. Uh, many other MP5 skins. So I think this is the one people are going to be using quite a lot more. Of course it's out now and it's a fairly reasonable price. You don't know how high of a price it might end up being later on. So... I think this is definitely something that we have to keep an eye on for. But at the very least, we don't need to buy it now. It's abnormal. We can wait and do our buy orders first, then make a consideration whether to buy it on uh, Thursday. So keep in comparison, like, how many skins did we see with the likes of the Blackout SMG? Sorry about that. Custom SMG. That had over 18,000. At this current rate, we're probably going to end up at around 20,000 sales. At, at actual 20,000, not close to. And that's fine. But, yeah, this is already down in price. But again, the custom SMG doesn't get used that much either. But, yeah, the pattern, this is the exact pattern that I expect. Below the Rustor price for a while, and in a good few weeks' time, when we're back in the good times, it'll be above its Rustor price. Even if it's a weapon that doesn't get used that much in comparison to other weapons, um, yeah, it will eventually go up in price. So, we do have the benefit of it doesn't have a ridiculous amount of sales. Look at the Thompson, for example. Look at the Blackout Bar, for example. <laughs> But, um, you know, Thompson still went up in price. It has the demand. But this, it's not getting close to the amount of sales. But based on its demand, as t when times are good, or if we ever see the MP5 get a buff in the future, of course it'll go up in price, of course. But it's not something we should rely upon. So keep an eye on this. It's abnormal. Buy orders first, then consider buying it on the first day. Right, then we'll move on to the Cybercode AK-47. And as I stated during the... Uh, Saturday Skin Showcase. Okay. 
It's an AK. <laughs> Following the routine, um, so I made this uh, point, and I want to just double check. I said we've got about 20 AK-47 skins so far this year already. Someone was flabbergasted. They were like, really? 20 already? And I'm like, well, let's just find out now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... 19, 20, 21, 22. We've had 22 AK skins this year. We get another AK skin on average every other two weeks. So AK skin one week, wait. AK skin another week, wait. AK skin another week. There's always another AK skin. We are oversaturated with options in terms of AK-47 skins. And that's a problem because, well, they don't really have room to grow. They don't really have much room to rise up in price. If there's always going to be another new one, people are going to dump this and move on to the next one. It happened with this, it happened with this, it happened with this, it happened with this, it happened with this. It happened with the $4.99 black gold AK. <laughs> People are not rely. Uh, they, they are not, what's the word? They are not committed to their AKs. They don't, they don't stick with them. They're happy to sell them and get the flashy new interesting one. So, yeah, not a reliable investment. It's not even abnormal. Yeah, so... It's not something I'm considering buying. In fact, when you look at all of this, there's not that many sales. But then again, with all the charitable rust uh, skins out, they're probably taking up a lot of attention. This is a ten dollar double sheet metal door, uh, double sheet metal door skin. Sorry, I stumbled there. But it's uh, very useful, glow in the dark, and has see through windows. So a lot of people really want to get onto this. And of course. Once it's gone, it's gone. You're never going to be able to buy these again because the charitable rust skins are not tradable. They're not marketable. So now let's move on to the Cobalt Container Metal Door, which is now a established collection. The Double Door is doing very nicely at the moment. Get a good look at that. Yes. Only 20 of them on the market, and they are above their rustal price so far. But when everybody who has the opportunity to be able to sell theirs, that's when we properly consider like lo looking at it. That's, you know, let's wait until at least next Thursday, then see how many on the market, see the prices they're listed at, then you can properly assess, okay, is that a good thing or a bad thing? At the moment, it's good, but when more people have the opportunity to sell theirs and put them on the market, then more can make a consideration. Anyway, aside from that, let's look at this. Yeah, it's a sheet metal door. <laughs> Sorry, single sheet metal door, two dollars forty nine. Well, have we been in the have we been in this position already this year? Yes, multiple times. How many single sheet metal door skins have we had so far this year? Well, uh, again, so six, six, six. That's eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 24 single sheet metal door skins so far this year. A lot of them glow. Can you see one that's in the positive? Can you see one that's in the green? No. So, yeah, not looking too good. It's abnormal. I'd much rather just do a buy order in it. And I don't think I'm going to offer that much because a lot of these sheet metal door skins kind of halve, halve in price instantly. So, it's unfortunate, but what keeps happening now we've got the predatory l96 so this is a different situation as i said during the saturday skin showcase we don't have many of these skins there's not a lot of them we only have 10 however how easy is it or how common is it to even actually be able to hold on to and do you, how easy is it to get actually a uh, l96 so you can buy them and they're fairly rare to even uh, get in a crate the the issue is it's just for the average player it's just not super easy to come by and when the gun demand isn't that very high look, i'm not sitting there saying people don't want to use it it's the matter of they don't have they, they it's not super easy for them to get a hold of it it's not super available it's not you get you get the idea yes you can spend 500 odd scrap to get it but who always has 500 scrap available to just buy a gun and then potentially lose it yeah, so uh, the L96, it only has one skin in the positive. Even the glow-in-the-dark one's in the negative at the moment as well. We are going through the bad times. When we go through the good times, maybe we'll see this and this and maybe another one in the positive. But yeah, this is much like uh, I just said with the MP5. For a weapon that doesn't get many skins, uh, people have probably already picked out the one they want to use and they don't really care for the new ones. The Predatory L96 is a very nice addition. However, I am cautious... And I don't think it's going to hold its price. I do believe it's going to go below its rust door price. Um, yeah, Predatory is a new collection. And we're probably going to start seeing even more skins being accepted. 
But, uh, yeah, yeah, like, I just am not fully confident with it. So, yeah, just, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. I can do a buy order, then on Thursday I can make a consideration. Is it holding up its, is there support to keep the price up? Is it going to hold its value? Yeah, we need for that to happen. We need to wait to see for that. We have the Chris Sword. So this is something I've been worried about. We we don't get many salvage sword skins that much anymore. And that was the problem with the katana sword. Problem, you could say. But yeah, it was. Because we had not seen a salvage sword skin for two years. This was the most recent one when this appeared. And loads of people instantly thought... Because from what we could see, all of the salvage sword skins that we saw here were in the positive. They were all green. But... A lot of people thought, okay, this is a new Savage Sword skin. Yeah, this is going to be easy profit. This is easily going to go up in price. Well, this ended up with over 20,000 sales. The second highest subscribe, <laughs> the second highest sales was the Pixel Sword, and that only had 10,000. And then all of these only had a few thousand at best. Chris Sword does not look like it's following the footsteps of the Katana Sword. I think we're going to end up around a similar amount as the Pixel Sword. Now, it stands out. As a very unique sword in comparison to a lot of these. Yes, you've got like the likes of the flame, the fire slasher, and the zapper with a different type of uh, shape of the sword. Okay, that might be a positive. It's not selling a ridiculous amount, so that's looking pretty good for that. Also, also, this is also abnormal. So I like the looks of it at the moment, but I'm not. It looks like it's going to do all right in the long term. I'm just unsure about it in the short term. Uh, in the short term, so long term it's looking okay. In the short term, it's looking a bit. Ugh. But I don't need to rush into buying it. It's abnormal. Wait until Wednesday night. We will look at it. We make a consideration. We do our buy orders. We look at the support. Then we consider buying it on Thursday. That is the routine. That's how it is. Now we unfortunately can't say that with the likes of the recycler, the recycler pump shotgun. It's not abnormal. The recycler pump shotgun is the first pump shotgun skin to appear after a year and a half. No, uh, yeah, no, it's just a year and a bit. Sorry, I jumped the gun there. A, a year and two months. So took a long time to finally see one of these appear. And all of the pump shotguns are in the positive. <laughs> so this was the this was one of the reasons why I was like, okay, what's going on? Why have we not seen more pump shot uh, pump shotgun skins being accepted after we know for a fact that pump shotguns are super in demand to be used because they're the best, or rather, a lot of people prefer to use them with the slugs to get the best usage out of the slugs after the slugs got buffed. And we've seen a lot of YouTubers using them. We've seen one YouTuber be so dedicated with his Frostfire shotgun that this has become one of the best-selling ones. So, yeah, lots of people have been showcasing how good they are. Lots of people followed that. It's one of the best meta guns at the moment in terms of usefulness, killing power. Um, but we just won't see skins until now. But even then, this is only 5,000 sales. And... It's awkward. I don't know what's going on. We were desperate to see a new skin appear, but this just isn't selling that much. Now, is it based on the fact that people just don't care too much for the colour scheme? That was one thing someone mentioned. I don't know. I am going to wait until Thursday. I'm going to look at the sales, and then I'm going to make a consideration. Because there is one thing that we can sit here and say. Not a single pump shotgun right now is below its rust all price. They're all above it. And I wouldn't, again, this has happened many, many times. If we're very likely not going to see another pump shotgun skin anytime soon, everybody tends to like to buy out the cheap one, the cheapest one. That happened with Swamp Master. Nobody cared about Swamp Master before. But because it was the cheapest one, lots of people ended up buying it and using it because it was the cheapest one. Well, now we've got a new cheap one. And people are probably going to end up buying this on the Steam market. And it's eventually going to go above its first store price. So this does look pretty okay. It looks pretty okay now we never know will we potentially see plenty more pump shotguns appearing the week after the week after we don't know we don't know if we start seeing a whole bunch of pump shotgun skins appearing much like with the ponchos and whatnot <laughs> yeah we might have problems then but for now i don't need to rush i at least want to see how many sales there are then i'll start making considerations so yeah let's let's be patient Banger Sap, looking very cool. It is a pistol skin, of course, and... Uh... Okay, yeah. So, Prototype 16 is doing very nicely still. Is it going to hold its value? Let's wait and see. We literally just had that. It's a very cool-looking skin. 
And now we've got this, which also looks very cool. But everybody who wanted a new pistol skin probably bought this. And this might suffer because of it. It's clearly not one of the best selling skins so far this week. I don't know how many it's going to end up with. Maybe around nine, uh, 8,000 maybe. Probably. But um, sap skins overall have not done very well this year. But this one, because it's... I said this, there's no blackout pistol. And I think this is getting bought out because people want to use it with blackout. That's just my assumption. We saw simili we saw a very similar situation with the likes of the Opsar. The Opsar was the blackout gun to use until we got the blackout saw. And then people stopped using the Opsar and started using the blackout saw. So, yeah, that's a whole thing. But yeah, um, I don't think the Banger Sup's going to be doing very well. It's also not abnormal either. So no point just rather wait until the first day look at the sales then make a consideration but even then i don't think it's going to hold its price sap skins overall have not done super great this year it's awkward <laughs> and then we got the uh, rock skin here and i'm very surprised with, with this as well because only what not even four thousand sales so far we have not seen many rock skins chat i think this is one of those situations where for something that hasn't sold that much with a, with a type of item that does get used a lot, I mean, every time you die, you're going to have a rock. Every time you start your your fresh wipe, you're going to have a rock. A lot of people like to have a rock skin, and we have not had many rock skins so far this year. We've only had three. Very spaced out. We used to see quite a lot throughout the years, but then, no, it's been sparse. It's been, no, scarce? Sparse and scarce, yes. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, uh, I I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Christmas rock. It's been quite the tradition. Uh, as you can see here, North Rock. And then we had the Pudding Rock as well. We've had the Snowman Head Rock last year. What, did we have one the previous year? I don't think we had the one pre the previous year. So I'm, I, I still stick with that. I still think we'll potentially see a Christmas or winter theme rock. So that's still potentially uh, on the horizon. But with this, with hardly any sales... I think it might be something good to consider investing into. It's also abnormal. It's also abnormal. Buy orders. So, yeah. Buy orders first. Then consider doing purchases on Thursday. Looks interesting. Yeah. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. So, whilst we're here, should we get a good look at what's the current situation with the previous week's skins? The Python's still doing all right. The double door's still doing all right. The sap's still doing all right. The armoured door isn't doing very well. However, we need to point out that there is... Do I still have the link? I don't seem to have the link. Uh, I So, basically, we've seen a rust commit. We've seen that the armoured doors and the double armoured doors are getting a buff. They're getting their, uh, their HP increase, their health. They're going up from 800 to 1,000. We're probably going to see a whole bunch of armoured door skins potentially rising up in price. Which would be very helpful considering we've had so many appearing this year that they're all bottlenecking each other. We might stop seeing these being in the red and they might start going in the green. So as of December, the wipe day, rust or rotation, we might start seeing all of these potentially getting bought out. Keep an eye out for it. That is to be expected. So that's something to consider. Now, uh, what do we see? JPEG Metal Door down in price. Military Sar down in price. Not surprised. I wasn't surprised that this was going to happen. What about November 3? What about all of these skins? So, Raven's still holding on. That's nice to see. But everything else? Oh, dear. I've actually bought a minted gold large box. Half the price it sold for in the Rust store. So, that was expected. This has held on better than I was expecting. How many have run the market? There is not. 84. Still slightly below average. But, yeah. It's, it's kind of getting there. So, yeah. And uh, Halloween skins, just to show... People don't really want to hold on to Halloween skins when it's not Halloween. And yeah, they're all in the red. All in the negative. Except the rug from hell. And we've said this. It wasn't super gimmicky for Halloween. It was going to get away with it. And it did. It's a very nice rug skin. People like to put them all over their bases. It glows in the dark. Very helpful. So not surprised this is doing very well. What about the first week of Halloween? What do we see here? Only the bear skin... And the cap. Yeah, only those two. Everything else is in the negative. <laughs> yep, not surprised this has happened here as well. So, yep, the new items are in the negative. The, the deer torch is holding on better than the other two. This was $8, now it's already less than $4. So, yeah, yeah. 
Charitable Rust, I hope you've been enjoying yourself. I hope you took part, jumped into the server, been watching the streams. As you can see, I've got this bar above me. So, yep, this was a change of uh, scenery for this week. Uh, you can see that we've been quite successful with uh, raising the funds. Uh, doing a good job there. So, thank you to everybody that did buy these doors. I did it myself as well, as you can see. I've earned my drops and I've got a double door contributing. Very nice. It's also a very good door. Very, very pay to win. Very, very nice. Pay to charity. Yes. So yeah, that is the skins this week. This is not looking great for short term, but it should be great for long term. Or good, I should say. Good for long term. I'm not investing into this. I'm not investing into this. Uh, or rather, I'm not going to buy it. 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 I'm not sure just yet. Curious, I might buy it. I'm not going to buy it. I'm curious. I need to see the buy orders first. So, yeah. I'm curious for some things, but for other things, it's just straight obvious it's not going to be the best thing to invest into. In terms of, do you want to make a profit? Yes, I do. Probably want to avoid quite a lot of these things. So, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And thank you if you contributed to Charitable Rust.